children, it's good to be with you on the second day at VBS. Today, we will continue to learn that Jesus' power pulls us through by allowing courage and boldness in our lives. Let us turn to today's scripture reading. Today's scripture verse comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 29. Let me read out to you. It gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How do you gain strength in times of weakness? There are lots of TV commercials that people look for certain drinks for doing sports or even studying. I don't know if that's really working, but you can see those TV commercials really want to sell their products. Have you ever heard a comic called The Peanuts? If you don't know this title, you have probably heard the characters' names in the comics. They are Snoopy and Charlie Brown. They are such lovely characters. If you still don't know their names, I'm sure you will recognize how they look like. Snoopy is a beagle and Charlie Brown is a young boy who is a friend of the dog. A guy named Charles M. Schwartz wrote a comic strip called The Peanuts which has been appearing in daily newspapers in the United States since 1950. Wow, that's even before your parents were born. Well, besides Snoopy and Charlie Brown, there are many other interesting characters in the comic. And one of my favorite characters is Linus, who carries his cuddly blue blanket with him wherever he goes. Linus carries that blanket to make him feel secure so that he can have the courage and be bold. Short said, everyone has things that make them feel secure. You know what? But we, when we feel secure, we can have courage and boldness. For Linus, his cuddly blue blanket gave him boldness. Let me ask you again. How do you gain strength in times of weakness? Even the strongest and the most positive people find themselves broken and weary at some point in their life. But Prophet Isaiah said that the people who trust in God are like mighty eagles. He continued to say in verse 31, Those who wait on the Lord will find new strength. They will fly high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. I have a question for you. Do eagles soar in the sky on their own power? How can they stay up in the sky for so long without even flapping their wings? It's not the eagle's own strength that keeps it up in the sky. It's the wind. When the eagle finds a place where warmer air is rising quickly, it can ride that rising column of air higher and higher into the sky, then glide back down to earth. The warm air rising up beneath the wings of the eagle is what keeps the eagle soaring in the sky. When we want to do the right thing or be nice, but not sure if we can keep doing what we know God wants us to do, where do we get the strength to keep going? Our strength comes from God, doesn't it? He's like the wind under our wings, helping us to soar like eagles. If we try to do things on our own, we feel helpless and weak. But God gives us the strength we need to obey, and He even gives us the faith we need to believe in Him, to live a life pleasing to Him, and to glorify Him as our true King. 
Let's pray. Dear Lord, when we are tired and frightened, help us to rely on your strength and let you be the wind beneath our wings and the blanket keeps us warm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.